We're here with former principal, Mr. Shuba, who was as a principal here until 1996, correct? No, principal until 2006. 2006, I apologize, that's what I meant. Right. 31 years. <laughs> So tell me, tell me what it's like to come back for the 50th anniversary, the celebration. Absolutely wonderful. I, I was here for the 25th, and uh, to be still around here for the 50th, it's just great. I walked in the building tonight, and it felt like I'd never had even left, because when you're here for 31 years, uh, it's like your second home. I, my wife was saying to me tonight, should you spend as much time there as you did at, at our home in Flemington? So um, I, I was so pleased to be uh, invited back tonight to be able to, to share some recollections of uh, students and staff and uh, parents. It's it just a great experience. What's your favorite memory from being here? Oh, the favorite memory, it, it, it's all a collective memory. Basically, it was such an honor to serve as principal of, of, the, the, uh, of this school and the community that came together for our annual school elections to pass them and, and have the highest turnout of any of the other schools. It was great. And also the PTO played such an integral role in getting us all of the things that you need above and beyond the regular school budget to create an effective learning environment. Thank you very much. Welcome You're back. Welcome. Thank you. Glad the Bridgewater Breeze is here. And now we're here with current Van Holden principal, Mr. George Rao. Tell me what your thoughts are about this whole program. Well, I think it's a great night because I think it offers an opportunity for past, uh, current, and maybe even future uh, families, teachers, uh, parents to kind of come to the school and, again, bring everybody together and, and continue that great community feel that we have here at the school. Did you imagine it would be this big? I mean, there's a lot of people here, a lot of former teachers. Yeah, uh, we, we thought it would be big, and because of that neighborhood school, just because when we have an event, people come out. So we anticipated a big crowd. I was a little bit nervous that we might have too many people here, but it actually turned out to be a perfect amount, and we're really excited. We had people from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, uh, the 90s, and, and 2000s. So uh, real excited about the turnout, and a mix of former students as well as teachers um, really makes an exciting night. What do you think the people get out of coming out of here? I mean, I saw one student greet a former teacher. She was so excited just to see that teacher from third grade. What do you think they get out of being here? Uh, I think they get memories. I think they get those special memories that they had as a kid when, um, whether it was Mrs. Jones or Mr. Smith, whoever it might have been, I'm sure there's those special times that that child remembers and says, boy, that's, that was my f first grade teacher, and, and, and he or she was the best teacher I ever had. Um, and, and certainly even just coming here, they might even conjure up memories they haven't thought about in years as they walk the halls or walk a classroom and said, you know what, I used to sit over there, or I was in that classroom. Oh, yeah, I had that teacher, and brings back those positive experiences. Tell me a little more about what you're going to do in the hallway here. Well, you know, after a, a, a lot of thought um, and going through all the pictures that we had, I thought it would be a great idea to, like, just go through some of those pictures and blow them up and then frame them and then put them up on our wall so that our history could kind of be seen on a daily basis and not just kind of pulled out of a closet after 50 years or whatever, but to kind of share that. And I, I think it just makes our school that much more homier. And so I think it'll create a whole other atmosphere to our school. Great. Well, thank you very much. Have a great time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for having us, and thank you for coming. Okay, everybody wave. Okay. Say hi. hi. Say how great this all was today. This was, uh, was lovely so eating great. by the PTO of Van Holton. It was Please. fantastic It was night. fantastic. It was a Big great turnout. night. Great turnout. Wonderful job, night. George Rao. And the Van Holton PTO. They worked yeah, very hard very here. Hard. They, they did. An amazing event. Van Holton PTO is the best, and George Rao is the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And we love the breeze. <laughs> okay, so if you could just introduce yourself first. Hi, my name is Paula Wine. I'm um, co-president with the Van Holton PTO. So tell me how this was all put together. It was actually really um, Mr. Rao's idea. He wanted to do something special for the 50th, so we um, had a committee meet once a week and just throw out all of our ideas, and um, it turned out to be a, a remembrance of from 1964 till now. So we did a lot of photos and um, just a lot of good times and that's kind of where we ended up. Has everyone been, been really excited about putting this together and being part of it? Oh, everybody's thrilled. The kids have been helping and they did little post-it notes everywhere and they've been coloring and painting. They've been seeing everybody working so hard for this and 
We have Holton now, our, our mascot, so everybody's really excited. It turned out really well. So is everything you guys hoped it would be? And more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, if you could just introduce yourself first. I'm Richard Haig. And so what brought you out here tonight? I have a daughter here, and I've had two other daughters that came here before I did. Tell me again what years you were here? I was here in 71 and 72. Awesome. So what does it mean to you to be part of this celebration when you were a student here and your kids are here? What is that like for you? It's pretty new. I, uh, I actually appreciate it now. I remember being here and hearing kids introducing themselves at the beginning of third grade and fourth grade and the teachers saying, oh, I went to school with your parents. And I moved around a lot when we were young. My father was in the service and I, I, uh, I remember thinking how I, it, I couldn't fathom why, how people could be in the same place so long because we moved every couple of years. And I, I, I like the fact that we're here and my kids came here and I was here. And I like it a lot. Do you feel like a sense of community here with your kids too? Yeah, yeah, very much so, very much so. How do you think this all went? I mean, this is a big celebration. Yeah, they did a great job with this. A lot of fun. I know my youngest one now that's here now is just having a blast in there. So, And it's good to see all the old teachers and so on, yeah. Do you see any of your old teachers? Um, no. <laughs> no. All right. I saw, I saw some of their kids, but no, I haven't seen any of my old teachers. Well, we tried. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Have a good time. <laughs> All right, so welcome to Van Holten School. You having a good time? And this is a great party. Met a lot of kids, a lot of teachers, a lot of parents. Awesome, well welcome to school. <laughs> So we're here with the PTO board of Van Holten School who helped put this whole program together tonight. So tell me about it, how did it go? What do you think? I think it was a great success. Uh, it was wonderful to see the community come out um, and see all the, the teachers from so many years ago and I think they really enjoyed themselves as well as little kindergartners. So it was a complete success in, I think on our, in our mind. Anybody else wanna throw something out there? I thought it was a complete success. The excitement for me this evening was seeing the first year teachers and, um, and, seeing, and hearing them reminisce and, uh, and the kids of today watching them enjoy the school just as much. So. How long did this all take to put together? Months <laughs> and months and months. But it was, it was fun and it was worth it. The teachers were fantastic. They put in their time. We met every week and they were you know, very giving of their time. They all volunteered for tonight. It was wonderful. Mr. Rao, Mr. Shuba, they, you know, they really stepped up. And I gave a speech, which was really nice because he didn't want to and he just had to. Mr. All Shuba right. donated two trees to the, um, to the school, which was nice in memory. So they'll be out in the, in the garden out front. So we're very excited. All right, nice. Well, congratulations on a great event. Everybody wave. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mayor H Hayes and I'm here tonight at Van Holten School for their 50th celebration and I'm here with Barbara Jedgetts from uh, Bridgewater on Van Holten Road. And, and tell me, did you go to school here? No, I did not. My son, is, my son went to school here for first through fifth grade and now he's at Eisenhower. And what do you think of tonight's ceremony? Uh, tonight was very special, especially for my son. We had to buy a special shirt. And then we came here to celebrate because this school has pretty much taken care of my boy for many years. What, what do you think? What do you think of the local community and the schools in general? Uh, the schools here in Bridgewater are phenomenal. I'm at Eisenhower now. People told me to worry, but it is um, they all embrace our children and keep them growing as they need to do as they get older. Well, thank you very much. I'm just so thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to be mayor. And this once again shows what a fantastic community we have. Thanks for taking the time thank to speak with me. Thank you very much. Thank you.